Hello friends, today I'm sharing with you a Trader Joe's, Ollie's, Aldi's, and a Walmart haul actually added on the end here. Um, so it's been a little while, we had some sickness and things going on and then vacation for a couple weeks. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you what I stocked up on this week. And I'm gonna start with the frozen stuff for Trader Joe's um, so that <laughs> that can get in the freezer, so. Um, if you are new here, my name is Lisa and I'm a homeschool mama of five and I share large family grocery hauls on this channel and homeschool content as well. If there's a specific homeschool video that you'd like to see, let me know down in the comments below um, and I'd be happy to do that for you. Let me go ahead and share with you what we got. Okay, so here's everything that I got from Trader Joe's, Aldi's, and Ollie's. Um, the Walmart one, I already did the video for that. It was a pickup, and I'm gonna add that on the end of this video too. So there are some cute pillows to back there in the back that my mom got from the thrift store um, for the fall. So um, grabbed back here, these grabbed some yellow potatoes for some baked potatoes, some bananas, this Tuscan melon. We've never had that before, so that'll be fun to try. Um, grabbed this organic rainbow cauliflower just to have in the freezer to be a side for a meal. Um, grabbed some of these chicken cilantro mini wontons. Um, my kids liked those last time, so I grabbed two bags of those two bags of sweet potato fries, another side for something. Um, I don't have exactly plans written down for most of this, so I'll do that after I put everything away and kind of think through maybe a couple more things I might need if I if I need anything else at all. So um, grabbed some wild blueberries because I'm gonna make some anti-inflammatory uh, blueberry muffins with it. And then I grabbed some of this berry blend for some smoothies. Grabbed some hash browns for the freezer for some breakfast. And then these black bean and cheese taquitos. My kids really liked those last time, so I grabbed two of those. And then the turkey burgers are really good. So there's four in a pack. I grabbed two of those. And then in the back here, grabbed some of this organic creamy cashew yogurt, um, plain unsweetened, so I'm not doing a ton of dairy right now. Um, so that I'm gonna try. And then I grabbed some low-fat cottage cheese for my kids. They'll eat that really fast. <laughs> also grabbed some unsweetened almond milk for smoothies and that kind of thing. Grabbed these cinnamon school book cookies because they're like letters and I thought that would be good for my little guys to work on sounds and letters and all that. So um, grabbed some sprouted bread and some sourdough, um, but I did just get my sourdough starter going again. So that's why I have some unbleached all-purpose flour in the back for that. Um, so just one loaf and then hopefully I'll make my own loaf. Grabbed some baby broccoli for a meal and two bags of this garlic and herb pizza dough for a meal and then some cauliflower uh, pizza crust for me and for my mom and then grabbed four of these uh, mushroom and truffle raviolis I'm gonna put them I think in pesto um, I kind of had some sort of like ravioli uh, salad that I saw so I'm gonna give that a try. There are two avocados in that bag. And then I grabbed this avocado ranch um, salad kit. Of course, I have, a, I have a bunch of stuff in the garden that start, I'm starting to harvest. So um, we won't need too, many salad, too much salad stuff. So grabbed two dozen of the pasture-raised eggs. Already have a, a little bit of eggs in the fridge. And then these are the three or the four things that I got from all these. Actually, this is the Pini, Pini Colada, um, Waterloo Sparkling Water. And then there's one. This one is the, um, let's see if I can find the thing about it. The All Day Rose. 
kind of like a wine <laughs> flavor, I guess. Um, grabbed two of these um, lemon, let's see, lemonade and sunshine so hand soap and then a sparkling lemon one. And then on the other side is a little bit of Ollie's and a little bit more of Trader Joe's over there. Um, at Ollie's, I grabbed some um, dry erase markers because this was a really good price for these. Um, they're, I think they're at least $4 at the regular store. And then I saw these markers that I thought my little guys would like. They're stamp markers and they're sheep and they're different colors. So I thought that would be fun. Grabbed some Q-tips because we needed some more. And then my daughter uh, requested dirt and worms for her birthday cake. So I grabbed these worms for that. They were $3.29. And then grabbed this vitamin B12. There was really good ingredients in these two vitamins. So I grabbed these for myself. They were $3.99 and this one's an immune one. And then grabbed these for the kids. This omega-3, this is $2.99. And then um, we use a lot of kids' vitamins, so I have five. So um, <laughs> this one was an everyday vitamin for $7.99. And then also grabbed some Band-Aids from there, which were $1.99. So I spent, let's see, at Ollie's, I spent $29.40. And then at Trader Joe's, I spent $191. Okay, and this is Russ from Trader Joe's. So, um, I have a friend that's getting ready to have a baby, so I grabbed two chocolate bars for her. This one's dark, and that one's milk chocolate truffle bar. So, I'm going to throw that into her gift. Something for her. Grabbed um, these peanut butter and jelly, uh, like, granola bars for the kids. There's six in a pack. And these things are super good. They're kind of dangerous, but they're plantain chips or they're plantain crisps. So these ones are like a lot lighter than these ones over here, which I've had these ones before. So um, I really like the plantain chips. So I grabbed those two. And then um, this probiotic uh, women's, this is the vitamin. This is really, really good. Um, I've been using that and that's been good. I also needed some more conditioner, so I grabbed this lemongrass. I get a special kind of shampoo, but um, grabbed this conditioner. And then this was $6, this facial oil, so I'm going to give this a try. And then grabbed some flaxseed for smoothie and to add into my smoothies and things and some baking stuff. Um, grabbed some almond flour again for that anti-inflammatory blueberry muffins that I was going to make. And then the, my kids love seaweed snacks, so I grabbed a bit, a pack of those. And then down here we have some Honeycrisp apples. Also, my oldest have, has um, started hunting with a, a mentor, a friend from um, church. And he, uh, let's see, he has already got a wild turkey and now he's got some squirrels. So he has requested that I make uh, squirrel dumplings and then so I needed those for the, for that recipe that he gave me to make them um, I do not know if I will be eating any of that <laughs> um, I'm not sure I'm brave enough but um, this is olive and basil pesto so that's gonna go on the ravioli I got also grabbed some baby bell uh, mushrooms as well and that is everything that I got so let me share with you what we got from Walmart next. All right, so we just went and picked up some stuff from Walmart. A couple things up there. Um, I'm going to start over on this side. I did a pickup, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and grab some stuff from all these two. I'm going to do a pickup there as well. So if you didn't know, they, they have pickup through Instacart, and you don't have to pay extra for that. Um, I mean, you pay a little bit extra on some of the food, but you'll see what the prices are and decide whether you want to do that or not. Um, but not everything. Most things are about the same price. Um, and you don't have to pay like the delivery fee and the tip and all that stuff like that if you were having stuff delivered. So it works well for me <laughs> so that I don't have to take all five kids in with me um, unless 
some of them are gone with grandparents or things like that, then I usually go in because you can sometimes snatch some better deals and get this. It is marked down. So right here, I grabbed some of more of this Ray's no sugar added honey mustard because I'm, <laughs> I'm not having anything spicy right now. And so I normally put like hot sauce on things and this has been really good. <laughs> so I love this, especially with like chicken and fries and different things. Um, potatoes, different things like that. Um, grabbed some of the chicken broth because it was actually on sale and also I have a sick kiddo right now um, who's not wanting to eat too much. So grabbed some unsweetened applesauce and some saltines for her as well. And then I grabbed two boxes of the Made Good Chocolate Drizzle granola bars. I like these ones because they do have some like vegetables blended into them. Yeah, vegetables extracts, good source of vitamin C and D. So something added in there is better than nothing added in there and just plain sugar. So that's, that's good. And um, I grabbed a bag of onions, some bell peppers, and I like this really good chicken. It's not too crazy expensive. I mean, it's still kind of pricey, but, but um, the breading is healthier than most. So... <laughs> Um, I grabbed that and then um, I grabbed this two bags of that and this Mediterranean crunch salad and then also some sweet potatoes that I'm going to make into sweet potato fries for a dinner. Grabbed some strawberries because it is strawberry season. They are on sale right now. They have a good, they're a good price. Um, grabbed some of these other crackers. They're the butter, buttery smooth ones. Um, and some of my favorite yogurt, this coconut milk, unsweetened, I really like that one, and then grabbed some bananas, some vitamin C back here, again, sickness in the house, and then I've got my science experiment back there, my sourdough starters <laughs> going, um, and then grabbed some of the yogurt that I usually get the kids. There's not a bunch of sugar into in it, so this stuff's really good, the triple zero. So I grabbed that, for, I grabbed that for them. Grabbed a big thing of plates because we often use paper plates. I know, not the best, but sometimes um, we don't too. So um, these have been really, really good. Um, they're like a prebiotic drink. Um, and so my mom and I like them. So I, they were on sale this week for a dollar something, which normally they're two something. So I grabbed more than normal. I grabbed some of the, two of the strawberry vanilla, two of the classic root beer. And then this Barbie one, um, is a peaches and cream. So grabbed those. And then my favorite things, um, this Purely Elizabeth's granola is really good. It's sweetened with, uh, coconut sugar. So... Um, I like this one, that one, and then I got some more of the keto, uh, cereal. I'm not, like, on a special diet. I just don't like to have too much sugar all the time. <laughs> so, I can have this more regularly than having sugar. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> grabbed a bag of the sweet potatoes, again, for the sweet potato fries and a cucumber, and that is everything that we got at Walmart and yeah, if you are interested in homeschool content and more large family grocery hauls, be sure to subscribe and stick around and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys in the comments below.